Business rock stars, and we're back. Now back to Scale the Wall. Hi there, I'm Tui Vu, broadcasting from the NASDAQ Entrepreneurial Center in San Francisco. This is Scale the Wall. It's powered by NASDAQ Private Market. Stay private on your own terms. For more information, go to npm.com. Entrepreneurs, as we know, always face challenges, and what they need to figure out is how to scale the wall. In this segment, we talk about those challenges and get some tips on how to overcome them. Joining me is Da Woon Kang, co-founder of the dating app Coffee Meets Bagel. It promises to give the most important thing to many women in online dating, you know it, control and good quality. The company was founded on Valentine's Day five years ago, and it's already gone international. Da Woon, good to see you. Great to see you. <laughs> awesome. Um, you know, you started this with your two sisters, and this is a space with a lot of competition. It's mm -hmm. pretty saturated. Mm -hmm. So how do you go about staying ahead of the curve, being different from the rest of the pack? What are the biggest challenges with that? Um, well, it is biggest challenge is that it is a very competitive space, and so you really have to uh, be on your toe. Uh, you have to continue to innovate, and I think when it comes to that, the most important thing is always going back to the customers. Uh, we have a process in place at Coffee Meets Bagel um, so that we, you know, any kind of product feature development, uh, new concept that we are, we are about to uh, launch, we always make sure we test it out with our customers, particularly women, of course, um, so that it's something that really addresses their real pain point in a, in a way that is um, really different. So you've been on this journey now for five years. Mm -hmm. What is the key takeaway for you from this entrepreneurial journey so far? When it comes to the founder's role and um, as a leader uh, of a company, you only have like three things that you really have to, to do well. First is that you know, making sure your company doesn't run out of cash. Mm. Um, and so that is a job that only you as a founder can do. And, and so if, if you know, th there's going to be so many things that's going to come across your way that you feel like you have to do, but this is like the most important thing, making sure your company doesn't run out of cash. Mm. Second is recruiting, making sure you actually put in place um, the smartest people that you can find into the right role so that they can actually do uh, to the job because, you know, you're not going to be able to do everything on your own. Um, and so the people that, at the end of the day, the, if the people that uh, work at your company is not smart um, or is not set up in the structure where they can actually excel, then your company can, can't succeed. Mm. And then three is just um, setting up the right vision and right culture so that these smart people that you just hired can um, feel motivated and can do their best and is always excelling at their, what they're doing. So. Tell us about the last time you had a problem and had to ask for help. How did you deal with that? Well, I'm dealing with that every day. <laughs> <laughs> this morning I was dealing with that. Well, so for example, I think um, one great example is going international. So uh, like you mentioned, we are just starting to uh, begin our journey for, uh, for internationalizing Coffee Meets Bagel, which is very exciting, but I don't have any experience in um, doing that myself. So what do I have to do? Well, like everything that I've done in the last few years mm -hmm. where I was doing things for the first time ever, just go out and find people who actually have experience in doing that and get their, get their advice. And do you find people are pretty generous in giving advice they're, when you seek them out? They're very generous. Um, I think one of the great things about working in Silicon Valley is that people are willing to help because they've been in your shoes. What are the three biggest lessons um, for someone to learn in dealing with the challenges of starting or growing a business? Yeah. Maybe not three, but this, this is a very important uh, lesson for somebody who's starting for the first time. I think it could, be, it could feel very, very paralyzing um, to think about, hey, how do I start a billion dollar business? Yeah. How do I like, you know, then, then when, you, when you focus on that question so much, then it could, it could immobilize you. Sure. And so what I encourage a lot of uh, to-be entrepreneurs is that, hey, it's great, it's important that you have big vision, but start with small milestones. Hey, how am I going to get 30 people to listen to me and give me feedback? Mm -hmm. That is so much more doable and that is so much more going to put you in action mm -hmm. than thinking about how do I build a billion dollar business? Because if you think about that, you're going to be stuck 
Yeah. Because I don't have the answer to that, right? Yeah. So, so think small. I mean, think big but act small is what I tell them because that's what that's what's going to propel you to act. One step at a time, right? Exactly. <laughs> da Woon, thank you. It's been a pleasure to talk to you. Great. Thanks for having me. All right. Da Woon Kang with Coffee Meets Bagel. And join us every Friday as we scale the wall, powered by NASDAQ Private Market. Stay private on your own terms. You can find more by going to npm.com. I'm Twee Vu, and this is Business Rockstars.